Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Missing Those Lego Robotics. I'm super excited. I'm super in the process of getting my Lego Mindstorms EV3 bottle flipper. I've seen some videos where I'm like, hey, I can do that. Um, so don't get too crazy on like, hey, how do you build that thing? Because I've I kind of pieced it together. Um, I kind of borrowed, you know, some instructions on the claw to hold the bottle. It's a work in progress, but I wanted to show you kind of my updates on how it's going. And, you know, it's really cool. You're gonna have to stay with me to see it. Okay guys, so this video is an extreme case of you always have to just keep trying and never give up. And I'm actually in the process of never giving up. It's been my toughest robot so far. You guys know when you bottle flip, you know, it has to be perfect, the release point. And so I've probably launched this thing, no joke, over a hundred, maybe even 200 times. And I still haven't perfected it yet. But I wanted to take you along in my journey, my process, and I'm actually still trying to get this thing to work. But I've had a few bright moments, some you know encouraging things that have kept me going. But I wanted to show you kind of what I built and my process so far. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, everybody, here it is. Mr. Hino's attempt at building a bottle flipper. So for those of you that would try to build this, I'm gonna go ahead and just give you kind of some insights to what I did. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the link on how I built this claw. I did modify it a little bit, but I did look up the instructions on how to get this claw done. So let me kind of take you around here. So like I said, this thing was totally fabricated by myself. I didn't copy this from anybody except for the claw. Um, so that's why it would be really hard for me to give instructions on this because psh, I kind of just randomly built this thing. So I have two large motors. I have one medium motor here in the middle that holds the bottle. And basically the physics or engineering part is I just have the claw hold on to the bottle swings back, swings forward, and the hardest part, I'm gonna be honest, and this is where I've tried it 100, maybe 200 times, is getting it to release at the right point. And to be honest, getting it to hold the bottle tightly is another thing. So it's just one of those things where, you know, sometimes you see Mr. Hino's videos and you're like, wow, how does he get it right every single time, the first time? And this has definitely been a, even my wife and my kids are like, are you still trying this thing? You know, they're, they're kind of um, shocked that I still try it because I've, you know, messed with this thing so many times. So it's going to be one of those things, guys, where I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep trying to perfect this. I've um, done the program and modified that probably 50 times where you just, I'm trying to get the timing right. I've gone from time to degrees. I went back to time just so that, you know, the, the program just doesn't, because, you know, this thing only goes so far. So if you put too many degrees, then it just gets stuck in the program. So I'm going to go ahead right now and show you some of my attempts and some of my successes, but they, were, they weren't really flipped, if you know what I mean, where the bottle has to flip over and back. So I've had some weird, um, you know, situations where it looked like it was good, but it really wasn't. Did it.
I almost capped it. Okay guys, so lots of fails. I'm, in fact, I'm still failing, but I'm still trying. I want to get to the point where I can do one good flip so then I can take the whole thing apart. Um, but it's it's a really good practice in, you know, increasing my, I don't even know what to call it, just my threshold of failure. Um, I have a friend that works for an animatronics company, um, the company that does all of the animatronics for Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm. And I said, what's one thing I can teach my students that would be, you know, prepare them to be in the workplace like his animatronics company? And he told me they, my students need to increase their threshold of failure. And what he meant by that is, you know, you, you try something and you get to a certain point and you fail and you're like, ah, I just quit and give up. And he said, you know, to keep trying to increase the amount of time and effort that students take to fail because your success can be within that extended time of trying and trying. So I said, hey, I can't tell my students that and not do that myself. So I'm, if I need to do this a hundred more times, I'm gonna keep trying until this thing can flip it. And I, you know I'm gonna bring that video to you. So anyway, guys, um, I want to uh, still encourage you guys, if you're stuck at home, no school, just to keep, you know, keep your spirits up, I was actually kind of discouraged the other day because I threw out that um, plea to send me your clips of you saying, we got this. And as of right now, I only have one. 
So I'm going to ask again, if you guys can just video record yourself, it takes two seconds, maybe even one second of you just saying, we got this. And then send me your clip. And what I want to do is put it at the end of my videos just to, again, encourage people who might be anxious, um, sad, to, you know, with all the coronavirus things going on to just go, hey, you know what? We do got this. You know, I can I can do things. I can, you know, help out people. I can, you know, do the best that I can do your part while we're struggling with this whole thing. So. Again, I'm with you. I'm going to still bring videos to you guys. In fact, that's one thing that I set my mind to. I said, what's what's way I can help out? And it's to just keep bringing videos to you guys. So that way there's no, you know, silence. There's no stuck at home. Now, hey, where'd Mr. Hino go? I'm going to still try to bring those videos to you. Okay, guys. So again, instead of saying I'm out, I'm going to say, this is Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. And we got this. We got this, guys. We got this. We got this.